We're talking about the ethmoid bone now. The ethmoid bone in this skull is red. You can see red in the orbit, you can see red in the nasal passages, and you can see red in the cranium. This red bone is the ethmoid bone. We'll start with this little projection of the ethmoid bone up into the cranium. That is the Christagalli. Christagalli. On either side of that are little depressed areas that have um, holes in them, little uh, openings in them. That plate on either side of the Christagalli that has all those little holes is called the cribriform plate. So Christagalli, cribriform plate, parts of the ethmoid bone. In the orbit of the eye, you can see red. That red is the ethmoid bone also. So it contrib contributes to the medial wall of the orbit. In the nasal passages, you can see some red. It's not going to be too visible there. That red um, are, the, are the conchi of the uh, ethmoid bone. I, let's find the same structures on the natural bone. Here we have the Christagalli. Here we have the cribriform plate. You can see the plate down, depressed down in here with all these little holes. This is all the cribriform plate, the Christagalli. The medial wall of the orbit back in here is the ethmoid bone. Then we have the conchi or the turbinates up in here. You can kind of see them as they, they, the bone curves on either side of the perpendicular plate. The perpendicular plate is part of the ethmoid bone that comes down and forms the wall anteriorly in the nasal passages that divides into a left and a right nasal passage. So that's the perpendicular plate and it's part of the ethmoid bone.